when it comes to dating, the issue isn't that there aren't any men or women out there. The issue boils down to a matter of attraction. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Big Blue and we're here. We're back with another video. This one's actually gonna be from Tynesha Talks. It's a very interesting topic. It popped up on my feed and I'm like, yo, what's good with this? Let's see what she's talking about. She usually brings up some pretty good topics on um, the link to her channel is going to be in the description below. This one is called the ugly reality of pretty privilege. Now, as you guys already know, I'm not the prettiest being on the planet. Like, honestly, occasionally <laughs> I'll look at myself in the mirror and I'll look at my wife and I'll be like, Yo, what did you see in me? Like me, at least now, I probably look maybe 2% better than I did when I was in high school. When I was in high school, I was just literally a stick figure, a black stick figure um, with glasses. Did I have glasses at that time? I don't think I had glasses at the time, but I think I had my contacts. But yeah, it's like, I was not pretty. I wasn't attractive. Nobody sat here and was like gawking over me and stuff like that. But I did see women gawk over the 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 guys that look cool, the guys that look handsome, the guys that just look like a stud. And I did see dudes gawk over the females that are just so pretty, just so beautiful, lavish skin, and hair is just so flawless and all that stuff. I'm just looking at them like, yo, what's good with you? What's going on? I mean, it even happens here. But let's see what Tynesha got to say. Tynesha, please correct me if I'm saying your name wrong. I do not want to say your name wrong. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's talk about pretty privilege, because honestly, I think it's doing more harm than good in today's society. For the purposes of this video, we're going to refer to pretty privilege as attractive privilege. One, because it's gender inclusive, but right. also because attractive privilege is about more than just looks. In our society, if you have money or if you have status, those are things that can make you attractive. In addition, to having good looks. Pretty privilege, attractive privilege, the halo effect. Yeah. There are multiple studies that prove that people who are deemed attractive by societal standards. Several different studies have found that when we rate people as good looking, we also tend to believe that they have positive personality traits and that they are more intelligent. I, I can concur with this. One study even found that jurors were less likely to believe that attractive people were guilty of criminal behavior. Mm, hence why they look the most spiffy when they get into court, some of them. Interesting. Are perceived in a more positive light. Attractive people. If you feel like that's true, go ahead and drop a like. Let's keep going. People are perceived to be smarter, funnier, and more likable than less attractive people. Some of you may be watching this video and thinking, how the hell are you going to talk to us about pretty privilege or attractive privilege when you've probably benefited from pretty privilege yourself? And you would be absolutely right. correct. So what's the problem? We live in a society where attractive privilege trumps the inner qualities that people have. Please don't get me wrong, okay? I'm very much a realist. And I understand that if you're a person who looks good, generally speaking, people are going to like you because you look good. I'm not saying that you should go out and date people who are not visually appealing because mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that either. But I am saying that physical quality should not trump all of the negative characteristics that people possess. And since we often talk about dating and relationships on my channel, we're going to talk about it from that lens. Attractive privilege becomes an issue when people really are not good people right their inner qualities are lacking they just don't have good morals good values good character their spirit is just a little off but we overlook those things that will in the long run have a negative impact on relationships with them because they look good on the outside this may be a bold statement but i'm gonna stand on it i think that a lot of attractive people really aren't that good of a person and they're not good people because they don't have to be because people are going to like them anyway because we live in a very superficial society. And to be very clear, this is something that I see in both men and women. If a man goes out and makes a lot of money, he's tall, very attractive. Man, need a little lip balm. I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm just a little ashy. Just hit, just hit it with the no, no, no. Let's do that real quick, bro. 
Fifth has a lot of status, he doesn't have to work as hard to be a good person because women are going to gravitate toward him just off the strength that he is deemed okay. attractive yeah. by societal standards. I, he can yeah. be egotistical, emotionally unavailable, juggle multiple women, just an asshole overall because women are going to overlook that. Women who are deemed attractive don't have to work as hard to develop inner qualities, whether that be their intellect being kind, being nurturing, being a good friend, being a good partner, because they know that men are going to be attracted to their physical characteristics. So that is what they lead with. And when that happens, we have groups of men and women who are highly desirable based on attractive privilege, but are really ugly on the inside when you get to know them. In a perfect world, these superficial men and these superficial women would date one another and have a field day because they're mirroring one another. But unfortunately, they don't because, newsflash, people don't like to date people who are ugly inside. In layman's terms, highly attractive people who have nothing to offer but their attractive privilege are highly overrated. It may be fun in that moment, but in the long run, they're not a person that you want to build with. And it really saddens me that as a society, we are struggling to understand this, making sure that who you are in the inside, your spirit, your inner qualities are up to par as well. I don't think that anyone can honestly say that they don't want anyone to ever tell them, hey, you look good today, or I think you're handsome, or I think you're beautiful, right? Those things feel good. But I have always said that I don't want to take pride in my physical appearance. I don't want that to be my main selling point because I didn't have to work for it. Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. Y'all got together, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. The genetics worked out in a positive way and y'all made me. Thank you so much. In a perfect world, everyone would try to be the highest version of themselves and they would want to be kind to others just because it's the right thing to do, <laughs> right? But we live in such a materialistic society where it kind of minimizes the desire or the need to be a good person to get ahead in society. I was having a conversation recently and someone said that when it comes to dating, the issue isn't that there aren't any men or women out there. The issue boils down to a matter of attraction because we are seeing so many different types of people on social media. Because we can post a picture of ourselves and get hundreds or thousands of likes, it really, really boosts our ego to unhealthy levels and we think that people are beneath us and the people who might really be good for us who can be a good match we overlook those people because we always think that there's something better it's a grass is greener type of mentality and then we shoot ourselves in the foot and we complain that there's nobody out there i would love to see us get to a point in society where we don't focus as heavily on this attractive privilege. And don't get me wrong, those things can play an important factor. You want your kids to come out looking good, you want to be attracted to your partner, you want financial stability, so I get it. I'm not saying that we should disregard those things altogether, but I just want us to get into a space where we put emphasis on just being good people. People of substance, people who just want to do good by other people instead of being in this self-serving individualistic egotistical society sometimes i just feel like i'm an alien for real because i just see the norms and the way society is shifting and i really just don't fit into that whole matrix child but those are my thoughts y'all let me know what you're thinking and i'll see you on the next video bye Okay, very interesting situation. Um, let me give my take on the situation. I ag I agree with just about everything that she was saying. Um, as I said, I was not attracted by no means when I was in high school. How can how can I tell? Well, when it comes to being in a room and having conversations, even though I would talk, now I do want to admit that my for some reason my voice tones or my i don't know my uh, voice box is pretty low and for some reason i gotta like actually really project my voice so that i can be heard but then it just sounds like i'm yelling but a lot of times it's like i get caught i would get caught in a situation where 
I would say something kind of like, uh, what's her name from the Brady Bunch? Which is like Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. She'll probably say something and nobody pays attention. But the second that Marsha, the prettier one, says something, that's when everybody's like, oh, Marsha, that was a great idea. Yeah, I definitely had that when I was younger. So a lot of times I just ended up just not saying stuff because it's like, yeah, nobody's going to listen anyways. Um, but I think that there definitely plays some type of factor um, when it comes to the attraction. I think a lot of it definitely has to deal with how you present yourself, how you hold yourself up. Because there are some people that will look outstanding, just look fly, got the latest clothes and stuff like that. And that's stuff that they really care about. And they'll keep up with that stuff. But then, like she said, deep down inside, they may not be the best person they may have a whole bunch of character flaws they may have a whole bunch of trauma and they may be very selfish and like she said superficial because all they got to do is just whip up some good clothes and then people are going to flock to them just easily when we were females they just got to do their hair a certain way and just put on their makeup so that the guys just flock to them so easily and it's like that attraction and that's the problem when we desire the flesh and what we see in somebody rather who they are on the inside it makes it tougher to actually find somebody that's genuine. You get caught in situations where you're talking to this person, they turn out not to be good. Or you're talking to that person and then they got you so hot that next thing you know, y'all doing the dirty. And the next thing you know, somebody's pregnant and now you're caught in a whole different type of situation that you didn't want to be in. It's that attraction with the flesh that just makes it that much dangerous when it comes to talking to people and realizing yo this person is not who i thought they were we gotta look past the looks just because they look good doesn't mean that they're good on the inside they just know how to change out their outside but it's a lot harder to change the inside than it is the outside it's all about the appearance that shows the attractiveness but when it comes to the superficial part like she was saying once you start to get that attraction and you start to feel that privilege of being attracted to where people are just going to flock to you you stop caring about other characteristics you stop worrying about um just other things and become start to become real selfish not all people it's just a lot of people if you really look at how like how many truly attractive people do you know that don't have some type of issues that isn't heavily selfish and it's just interesting like when you go on certain videos i would see uh, uh video feeds on my TikTok and whatnot about all these these youtube mo or, or or instagram models and only fans people they're on podcasts and they're attractive people but then the stuff that comes out of their mouth it's like what what where do you live where you think that this is okay and it's just a weird thing and it's crazy because one of my um one of my homies at my old church he was talking to me about something when it comes to the principalities there's certain principalities that's kind of like when you believe in something and you're kind of just there believing in that one thing and don't believe in a higher being which is god so then you're stuck believing that one thing you're kind of just stuck there like alcohol like sex hence attractiveness drugs stuff like that y you you get stuck in that belief and you don't go higher which is god actually there's actually a verse let me see what was it what was it what was it let me find it uh romans romans 12 2 it says do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what god's will is his good pleasing and perfect will i think the thing that tanisha don't look girl you're not you're not the outlier it's just one of those things where maybe before you were of the world having that privilege that pretty privilege made you of the world caring about these superficial things but once you start i mean even just getting older you start to realize this stuff doesn't matter there's things way above that is more important than this superficial stuff it's not going to get you anywhere it 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 creates a lackluster relationship with people nothing's genuine so then why why pursue it 
why pursue it except for our own selfish gains type um yo interesting video nonetheless none <laughs> nonetheless like i mentioned tanisha's channel is going to be in the description below if you like this video like this video if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe to this channel and if you have videos that you want to send to me send it via my ig or my tiktok or you can send it to my email address. I'll check the videos, I'll review the videos. Let's go ahead and get this channel up to a thousand. And then I'm gonna do something very interesting, but more updates. We're getting very close, we're getting very close. And we're gonna be doing something. I'm gonna be doing something very interesting from there. As always, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Y'all take it easy, peace.